Hello everyone, my name is Elliot Baines. I'm the director and founder of Spiral Stage Line. And here with us today, we have eight Elation Darts 360s. Now this review is gonna be really different to our previous reviews. And the reason why is because we've not just got one beam, but we've got eight Darts 360s in front of us right now. I don't know if it's all in the uh, frame, but we'll see at the end. We have actually got eight darts on the table right now. So I just want to mention something really quick before we start the review, as I want to make sure everyone's clear and, you know, stuff like that. I've been getting a few comments asking this question. Um, so obviously none of these videos are sponsored or anything like that. These are all honest reviews. Uh, based off my uh, opinion, I guess, and it might be different to yours. But I just wanted to let everyone know uh, just that all these reviews are totally honest. And before this video begins, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. That'd be much appreciated. So yeah, here we have eight Darts 360s by Alation. A massive shout out to Entity for lending me these. We used eight of these on the roof of somewhere and we had to get clearance from all close airports, Manchester airport, everything like that to do this. I have kind of used these on something, but I would like to use these on a show. And I'll explain why. So the Darts 360 is a 50 watt 360 pan and tilt beam. And you can create some really cool 360 effects. What I've also noticed about the Darts is also that the pan and the tilt is quite fast. So basically the movement is fast. And especially the 360, uh, kind of effects you can create with it. It is incredibly fast. And to say it's not the smallest fixture, it's, it's quite small, don't get me wrong. It's not huge at all, um, but it's fast. It really is fast. But the 360 pan and tilt is also 16 bit. It's RGB, so you can create some really nice, smooth color effects with it. I love the smoothness of the colors on the Darts 360. You can create some really nice color effects and obviously color mix. So the Darts also have a frost filter, but I'm gonna try to explain this in the correct way just so everyone understands. Don't get me wrong, the frost filter is great on it. It's heavy and you can create some really nice wash effects with it. The only issue with the frost filter is that, imagine imagine a split color wheel, right? You can see there's red and you can see there's white. You know, there's two different colors. Now, when you change the frost filter, you know, if you want to change it to a beam or a frost, you can tell that there's a frost filter about to come in. So it's like half beam, half frost, if you know what I mean. Basically, more of a smoother frost would be nice, if you know what I mean. Nice, heavy frost. If it was a little bit smoother to change to the heavy frost, that would be nice. So the darts have a tight three degree beam. It's a very punchy beam. And I do like the beam. It's a great beam fixture. As I was saying before, I really want to use this with a, a DJ of mine, a, a client uh, who is a DJ. He came to the office recently and he actually saw these lights uh, face to face and he absolutely loved them. It's also got a motorized focus, including 14 static gobos. It's also got two prisms. It's got a six linear prism and an eight facet independent prism. The other thing about these lights is that they're flicker free. So you can use them for TV and film. I wouldn't necessarily use them for TV and film. I mean, you can do like, you know, if you're doing Strictly Come Dancing or something like that, and you've got more of a stage set, then yeah. If any of you guys have actually used these, for anything on camera like TV and film and stuff like that. Comment down below or send me a DM because I'm really interested to see these on an actual kind of set, if you know what I mean, instead of just a YouTube video. So the darts is quite small and quite lightweight. So taking these on tours and stuff like that is really a piece of cake as they're quite mobile. And they only weigh 12.7 kilograms. You've got five different options of controlling them. You've got DMX, you've got RDM. You've also got something called Klingnet, Artnet and SACN. On the side of the darts as well, it's also got an antenna, which is for the eFly wireless, which I think is Alation's wireless kind of DMX protocol. Also on the back, you've got a true one power um, in and out. You've got five pin in and out, ethernet in and out, and again, the eFly antenna on the side. 
And quickly going back to the part about the darts being quite mobile, it's also got pan and tilt locks. And again, it's just the frost that I'm not totally sold on. If it was a little bit more smoother, that'd be great. But you've got the frost option, which is good enough anyways. So you can just basically have a nice wash effect along the stage. I definitely recommend you try these out because these are really fun to play with. Um, again, we've got eight of them here uh, at Spiral Stage Lighting to try out. So they're really fun to use. So again, a massive shout out to Entity. Thank you for letting me use these lights on our little secret project, which I will let you know what it is soon. So stay tuned and turn the notification bell on because you will see it in action. And uh, yeah, thank you Entity for allowing me to play with these. I've really enjoyed it. And again, if you get the chance to try them guys, make sure to give them a go because I think they're really nice. Before this video ends, I quickly want to mention to all manufacturers out there regarding, you know, light and stuff and special effects is that if you would like to see your product on our YouTube channel, make sure to go over to spiralstagelighting.com slash contact. The link will be in the description. Keep in touch and I'm sure we can sort something out. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn notifications on because we have got some really cool content coming up. So stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one. My name is Elliot Baines. I'm the director and founder of Spiral Stage Lighting. And welcome to our new home.